Hello and welcome to Face Horror Corner. So today I'm going to be discussing the infamous horror movie Midsummer. To summarize the plot really quickly, Midsummer is about a group of friends who go out to this remote area. I believe it's supposed to be in Sweden, but I'm not too positive about that. And one of the friends in the friend group, his family is from there. So he wants to introduce his friends to his family. And they get there. The two main characters in Midsummer are a sorry i'm getting a bunch of notifications on my phone right now but it doesn't look like a thing important so ignoring that um the main characters in the group are this girl and her boyfriend and her boyfriend is i believe if i remember right he cheated on her or he and he also did not care about the relationship anymore he kind of wanted to get rid of her but she was still dating him at the time but this is important for the plot so they're in a rocky relationship they go out with their friends and everything starts to unravel. Like, the people out there are in some sort of really weird cult. And they don't know that at first, but it gets more obvious as things start to progress and become more bizarre. And the movie is filmed in a way that's very trippy. The plot starts out very analytical, very straightforward. You're 100% sure about what's going on and then you kind of see the main character's brain disintegrating along with everything around her. So let's get into my ratings and my reviews of this movie. So Midsummer is excellently done for what it's trying to be. Midsummer wants to be a shock film. So be fully aware about that. The actual gore in Midsummer, I feel like I'm saying that every four seconds. Um, don't take a shot every time I say Midsummer, you're gonna die. The actual um, gore in Midsummer is not that bad. I've definitely seen way worse gore, but it's so shocking and sudden and so intense that it feels, it gives you more of a visceral reaction than something like the Saw movies does. So excellently done for that, for sure. Would not recommend uh, watching Midsummer with your parents for multiple reasons, but gore wise, not that, not that bad, honestly. The cinematography is amazing. The audio is amazing. The plot, I loved it. I loved Midsummer a lot. If you like Midsummer, for sure you want to watch Hereditary. I believe it was made by the same directors. Those are both, the plots are not the same, but if you like one, you'll like the other, so that's my recommendation. Um, yeah, I was very surprised by how good Midsummer is, because most of the time when a horror movie gets hyped up and I watch it, I'm a little like, eh, like for instance, I didn't really like that movie Us that much. It was not bad at all, but some things get so overhyped that once you get into it, you just are like, well, the average person must be a wimp if they think this is horrifying, but Midsummer is freaky. Some freaky stuff. So I would recommend this movie if you're into cults. That sounds very weird, but personally, I'm really into true crime and learning about cults is something that I find fascinating. So any horror movie that involves cults, it's really, it's, very hard to find any good ones, but it's fantastic. So if you're into cults, if you really appreciate really good cinematography and suspense built up through um, the cinematography, you know, tense shots, tense action, it's perfect for that. If you want something shocking, absolutely watch Midsummer. It is one of the most shocking horror films I think I've ever seen. We're talking almost up there with Human Centipede. Human Centipede 2 specifically, because the first one was not as bad as the second one. But if you're into those three things, for sure, watch Midsummer. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any films or anything more related that you want me to review. Um, yeah, uh, I think you can rent this movie pretty much on almost any streaming services. It was for free with Amazon Prime for a while, I want to say. So definitely check it out there. And yeah, I will catch you all next week. Uh, or the week after. I'm not sure. Anyways, I'll be here soon. See ya.